Hi everyone, this is Julie with Beta Holly, and in this video we're gonna make some fun pink earrings. So these are great for summer. Pink is so popular right now. These are definitely Barbie inspired if you wanna add a little touch of pink to your wardrobe. So we're gonna do a little flower one and then we're gonna do a crystal one which has a really pretty pop of color. This is a prestige flatback crystal. This color is Electric Pink Lacquer Pro Delight. So we're kind of a long name there, but it's a great pop of pink. And I just did these two, so they are upside down drawing. Drying, not drawing, drying. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your posts. These are titanium, and they come in four millimeter, six, eight, and 10. This is a 10 millimeter. I'm also gonna be using the little four millimeter size. And then you're gonna need your focal. So here's a lucite flower, and then these, of course, are the flat backs. You're gonna need some earring backs to complete your project when it's all dry. And then you'll need some glue. I'm gonna be using E6000 as a really good basic glue for projects like this. And then I have a scrap piece of wire as an applicator. I'm using my baggie that the um, flat backs came in as my little tray. And then I've got my work surface covered so it doesn't get dirty. So those are the things you need to get started. And then this is a really very quick, very easy, fun project. And you can make tons of these. You can definitely make a ton of these. So we're gonna go ahead and begin. Let's make the flower first. To do the flower, we're gonna go ahead and put some glue down on our table. This glue does dry pretty quickly when you have it right here, it gets kind of tacky. So I don't like to put too much down at once. Um, but then you are gonna let it dry, for I like to let it dry overnight before you start wearing your actual piece. Okay, so we're gonna take the 10 millimeter pad and we got the glue on our applicator. We're just gonna place it in the center. It doesn't need to go to the edge because it will, when you press it down, it will go ahead and end up on the edge. I don't wanna touch the glue, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go like this flip it upside down and press it in place. Okay, so there it is actually done. That is all there is to making that one. So super quick, super easy, and you just let that dry overnight. So that is how you make the flower. To make the stud, we're gonna do it a little differently because there's not quite as much surface area to grab onto. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some fresh glue down again. And this time I am going to take my post and I've already got my flat back crystal upside down. So it is waiting for me. And I am just going to take this and I'm gonna dip the top of it into my glue. And you can kind of swirl it around a little. That helps to kind of detach it from the glue a little bit. And there's some little stringies. Okay, so now I'm just going to hope you can see this without my hand getting in the way too much. I am just going to place this onto my crystal and lift up. And it is now done. Now there is a little stringy right there. You can see when this is all dry, we can just get that trimmed away. So that is all there is to making these super easy to do. They're really cute. I would definitely just let them dry overnight. You can make dozens of these within just a few minutes if you wanted to, if you wanted to give them as gifts or I don't know, bridesmaids gifts, party favors, fun things for friends, share the love of jewelry making, make them and sell them, whatever you wanna do. These are very quick, very easy, and really perfect for summer. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. We have many more over at beataholic.com.